Guitar Hero Rocks the 80s was released in 2007, like summertime. And later that year, two new games came out. Now the reason two games came out is because Harmonix sold the rights to Guitar Hero to the Neversoft branch of Activision. So Guitar Hero was still owned by Activision, but the developer was changed to Neversoft. Now Guitar Hero 3 was the first Guitar Hero game a lot of people knew about because it was pretty mainstream. Now, the only reason why this was really much bigger was because, well, actually there's two main reasons. One, it was building off the hype of Guitar Hero 2. Now, Guitar Hero 2 almost made it big. It was a really successful game, but it wasn't like blockbuster successful. So it was building on the popularity of that, and on top of that, Neversoft, who developed Tony Hawk Pro Skater, who had already made a pretty good name for themselves, jumped on the development of this. Also, if any of you are familiar with ScoreHero.com, it's a community of Guitar Hero players. It's very competitive. Um, most of the best Guitar Hero players in the world are members of the forum. Some members from the forum actually were hired by Neversoft to do guitar charts. So, this game received a pretty good amount of hype, and it sold like crazy. Now, this is the box that it came in. <sighs> And we have a completely different style guitar. We have a Les Paul as opposed to an SG. Now, the guitar, for the most part, was an improvement. However, the PS3 version, the wireless was awful. Now, the PS3 version had a crappy little dongle here, and the wireless was very prone to dropping. So if you had any hope of playing competitively on the PlayStation 3, you probably should just forget about it because if you don't have consistency with the controller there's no way you can get good scores. It's perfectly fine for a casual gamer but for me being so hardcore into the series at this point I was so mad about this and I even got a replacement through my warranty and it still sucked. So this really torqued me off. Um, now the Xbox 360 version of the guitar is phenomenal. I played on it on a 360 Les Paul several times and every single time was a very enjoyable experience but this guitar for the PlayStation 3 sucked. It came in a much smaller case and it was a two-piece guitar which was very interesting. So you had your body and your neck and this is all over the place. So yeah, your body and your neck. I'm not going to put them together because it's actually reasonably difficult to take apart sometimes but I mean this would just slide in here. Um, it's the same deal, except you had um, a D-pad and a PlayStation button, and I just tried to connect it. But uh, in the Xbox 360, had a D-pad and a Xbox Live button. That's about the only difference. I believe Guitar Hero 3 was released in either September or October of 2007. So this came out was the first of the two rhythm games of that holiday season. The other rhythm game that came out is Rock Band. Now. It's probably a little small for this distance, but it was developed by Harmonix. Harmonix developed Guitar Hero 1, 2, and Rocks the 80s. So there was, from the hardcore gaming um, community, there was a lot more hype for this game. However, since Guitar Hero 3 came out first, there was a lot more press. Which is unfortunate because I believe Rock Band is the better game. And here's why. Rock Band had drums. Rock Band had four-player co-op online. Rock Band had competitive, a much better competitive system online. Rock Band had a better set list, in my opinion. Rock Band had better charts. Rock Band had cleaner graphics. Rock Band had a better engine. Rock Band just had a better everything, except press. And that's what really killed this, in my opinion. Now, this was backed by MTV Games, who got a lot of song licenses for Rock Band, for harmonics, and they used that to the fullest extent. This game had so many good songs on there, and all of the songs were so well charted, um, it was really, really fun to play. Besides the bad press, Rock Band had one other major problem, and that was the controllers. Behind me you can see the Rock Band 1 drum set. Now, the biggest issue with the drums is they were prone to breaking. Now, as you can see, my dad has reinforced our Rock Band 1 foot pedal with, what is that, a quarter inch of aluminum? Um, in order to stop it from breaking. Like, these things were plastic, and people would slam them really, really hard, and they would just crumble. So, it was kind of a problem, and Harmonix ended up having to do free warranty replacements for all of their drum 
pedals and all of the drum kits because they just kept breaking so much and they wanted people to be able to play their games. So this was a huge problem. Also, um, as you can see, we have this um, foam and felt combo on our drum pads. This is twofold. One, it reduces the noise, and two, it helps the sensitivity of the drums. Some of the first generation, actually second and on generation drum sets, like from the, besides the first run of kits, had really faulty sensors in the drums. So they wouldn't always read. And what you had to do to make them more reliable is you had to put more weight on the pads, or you had to put the pads closer to the actual sensors. We circumvented it by doing this. Other people would rubber band socks to their drums. So they could get them to work, but it was really difficult. Um, the problem with the guitar is previous Guitar Hero games had a clicky strum and silent buttons. This completely changed that. They wanted to make a silent strum bar because it would feel more like playing a real guitar, which is fine. Um, these buttons are built into the neck, which is you wanted to make it feel like playing a real guitar, which is fine. However, this tactile response feels a lot different than the tactile response of another of the other guitars, and this, if you're playing competitively, it's mushy. You, it's hard to feel when you're actually getting a strum in, and it was very difficult to play songs like Run to the Hills, um, especially on bass, because there was so much fast strumming and it was really hard to handle. Um, the, there are some cool things about this. I mean, it is a Strat. It looks just like a Strat. Um, it's licensed by Fender. Uh, there's an effect switch, which change the uh, sound of the guitar or the bass when you have um, overdrive deployed, which is the rock band equivalent of star power, or if you're in a solo. So there was some good stuff here. And the wireless for this, it, it used this, a dongle just like everything else, um, at least for uh, PS3. For Xbox 360, I believe they only offer this in wired. But the wireless was better. It was, con it was consistent. When you, when you strummed, it registered a strum. So, if you wanted to play competitively, Rock Band or Guitar Hero 3 on PS3, you had to use this guitar. And it really was just a bad position to be in, honestly. Now, um, I don't mind the guitar. I use the guitar a lot because it was the only option I had. But I think Rock Band, I think Hermanus could have done better.